Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil. Today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys matchup versus the New England Patriots in New England this Sunday at 4.30 Eastern. They still have Belichick, which makes them a potent anything because of his game planning. But let's go against some of our game plans and what we should look forward to against their defense and offense. When you look at the offensive side of the ball for the Dallas Cowboys, you got to look at the defensive side for the New England Patriots. As you look at the New England side, they're a very impressive team that likes to only give up 18 points a game. But when you look at the competition they've gone against with Tua, Zach Wilson, Winston was up and down, Mills destroyed him in Texans, and then a Brady on a rainy day with a rivalry game now, it all just spells the fact that you haven't gone against competition that has been the tops. And when you look at Dallas and how Dak has been able to do this season, this is really going to put a test on their defense. Now, New England loves to put a formation in the sense they put all eight men in the box. The thing is they only run that with a nickel and dime defense still. So those guys that are in the box are still little guys just in case you decide to pass the ball, which is very good for this team to go against with Dak that loves to pass or they can run. The only problem is you putting little guys in there that are going to be blocked by 300 pound linemen and we've been averaging over 200 yards a game in the run game the past couple of games. So what does that spell for their defense? Not very good because when you look at the talents level, they only have like one or two guys and they're not stars yet. So to know that this the game plan that's it all going to come down, it's still very potent in the sense of what they can do defensively, but are they going to be able to stop them? Because I see honestly... Zeke having a good day. Tony Pollard having a really good game. I don't see Schultz getting involved because he's going to be blocked by a defensive back now. Now, when you look at the receivers for Cooper and Lamb and, and Wilson, I think those guys are going to have big days because if they decide to start putting people in the box like they have been, Dak is just going to have a heck of a game, especially if they're only putting one safety in there. So let's focus on the defensive side now because the offensive side is, hey, man, run your offense. When you look at the defensive game plan for this is the New England Patriots, you got to look offensively at Matt Jones. Now, this team lives and dies by him. And when you look at the numbers, it, some of the stuff can be impressive if you screw him enough. Now, with Belichick's offense, he's always been about quick passes. With Brady being his main guy, which one was it? Was Brady doing the quick passes or was Belichick teaching him how to do it? I think Belichick was teaching him a lot because Mac Jones is so far averaging 2.67 seconds per pass and that's very quick. It's ninth quickest, but it's very, very quick because he's getting it to running backs, tight ends. Guys are doing very quick slants and stuff like that. So being able to jump some of these routes is going to be big, especially for the fact that when you look at Mac Jones completing 70% of his passes, but it's only 6.5 yards per pass because it's not down the field. So to fear this team, no, they're going to take a shot here and there to kind of test you, to make you kind of loosen up. But most of it's going to be underneath, and that's what they live and die by. And what will this defense do when they can't get pressure because it's very quick passing? You know, you're going to look a lot like the, going against Brady where he was getting out quickly, so the pressure may not have seemed like it's there. But trust me, it's not, you can't get a whole lot of pressure within three seconds unless you're just going straight for the quarterback and nobody's blocking you. So let's see what this defense does, what kind of game plan they whip out against a team that loves to quickly get the ball out of their hands. There's always ways to counter it, and I'm interested to see what Dan Quinn does to do it. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'm Primetime Phil, like always. I really honestly think if we don't, again, hurt ourselves, we should be able to really destroy this New England Patriots team, which would be a little bit of revenge because they've always had our number, it seems like, for the past decade. So uh, to see a little bit of sweet revenge will be nice, but to know that they're not a very talented team and it's going to be a lot of coaching. So if they do put it to us, it's a lot of coaching. And again, Dallas doing things that they shouldn't be doing and, and really honestly tripping themselves up. Otherwise, I see Dallas winning this thing maybe like 34 to 13 uh, and I don't see it being closed. Maybe in the beginning when Belichick's plans are going, but once the adjustments start going, uh, Dallas should run away with this. But seeing how the game plan goes, I still have to give Belichick a little bit of credit. That's why I won't put Dallas into the 40 and 50 where I would put them in with other teams. I, I give Belichick a little bit more credit. So again, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit that like button for me. I appreciate all your support, guys. But don't forget to always ring that bell.